Janice Pointer and her family have had to leave their home of 17 years because they couldn't make the mortgage payments. For me, personally, it was a relief. My husband, he's still not really happy. Um, my son's not happy. But it's, it was like a real weight lifted off my shoulders. The decision followed months of financial struggles, largely because of the floods that swept through Queensland's Lockyer Valley twice in two years. My husband couldn't get work because it was too wet, and as a result of that, he, um, well, he was unemployed for most of the year, and we got behind on payments. Janice Pointer is one of hundreds of people who've sought financial counselling services in the Lockyer Valley since the floods. The flood caused a lot of unemployment. It destroyed people's houses and their lives. And, uh, and as a result, bills started mounting up. Many have only just asked for help, even though the last floods were in January. They've been relying on their savings for the last, you know, since the flood nine months ago. And now that that's really become to an, it's come to an end, they haven't got it anymore. So they're presenting here a lot. The floods weren't the Lockyer Valley's only problem. Like in many rural communities, residents were already struggling to find work and have less access to services than people in the city. Lockyer Valley was always low socioeconomic. Things were, things were always hard for the residents of the Lockyer Valley and the flood came along and just made things worse. George Nathan is a Salvation Army financial counsellor who has seen more than 400 people in the last two and a half years. In the last 29 months, my service alone here in Gatton has had over $1.1 million in debts waived by the banks, which includes superannuation released under financial hardship, as well as insurance settlements. But services like his aren't always given as much support as other flood recovery programs. They're still rebuilding roads and bridges in the Lockyer Valley, but where the money's running out is for those programs that help people rebuild their lives. And that takes much longer than fixing a piece of infrastructure. We're nine months after it, the funding's about to end, but they're, they're the people that now really need that support and the funding's ending. Janice Pointer says the help she received kept her family together. We could still walk away with our heads held high knowing we'd done everything we could, with a lot of help. <laughs> um, and yeah, we can start again. But there are many families who the flood will continue to affect for a long time yet. Eric Twarczyk, ABC News, Lockyer Valley.